It's so important that as we go through life, we have a purpose or a direction to follow. Now, if you're just working in a normal day job where your work is given to you each day, you don't really need to worry much about that. But for the rest of your life and when you're not at work, and especially when it comes to your ministry, then things are very different. Because in order to minister or do things for the Lord or just interact with people and feel good about yourself in this life, you need to have a direction that you're following and a sense of satisfaction that you are actually accomplishing something. Now, the problem is when we are doing the right thing, being led by the Holy Spirit and being used by the Lord, we become a threat to the realm of darkness and Satan is not at all happy about it. And he's going to try and interfere and stop you from moving on and succeeding in the things that you're doing. So you may start off with a big bang. Maybe the Lord gave you some uh, new ideas or new ways of ministering or a, a new goal to aim for. And so you go off enthusiastic and excited about it and things seem to go great for a while, but then life catches up with you. So many things come across your path. So many things interfere on a daily basis. Cares and responsibilities weigh you down. And before long, you kind of lose your way. And you say, well, you know, it started out great, but it doesn't seem to be moving forward. I'm not really having much success. And I don't even know if I feel like doing this anymore. Did I hear incorrectly? Was I really led by the Lord in what I did? And you, you just reach a place where you kind of sit there not knowing where to go next. You feel directionless. Now, we all face this at different times, but you need to realize sometimes what is causing it before you can break out of it. Now, for some people, they assume that, well, obviously, I must have been doing the wrong thing, so I need to do something different. But what do I do? I don't have any other goals or plans or dreams. I don't have any other ideas. And so you sit and try and rack your brain of how you should change things and what you should do differently. But most of the time, actually, you are on the road that the Lord puts you on. You are on a journey that he is leading you on. And the enemy is going to throw obstacles in your way to stop you from proceeding with that journey. He wants you to stop. He wants you to turn around. He wants you to get sidetracked on other things. And all that's actually happened is you've just become overwhelmed by life, by the world system that is controlled by the enemy. It's designed to sidetrack you and get you off the track that God puts you on. Now, in reality, all you need to do is stop and get into his presence and hear his voice again. Because you get so busy and there are so many voices all around you that you no longer can hear that deep inner voice of the Lord speaking to you. At times like that, you need to get down specifically to seek the Lord in prayer. And especially, you need to know how to journal, in which case you can actually hear what God is saying to you and write it down and know exactly what the Lord is speaking to you. Perhaps you need a prophetic word. And if you're able, you can even speak in tongues and interpret your own tongues. And God can give you a word that way. Perhaps you need a prophetic word from somebody else. But, you know, it's not easy to find somebody else out there that can come and give you a prophetic word. Well, I'm going to give you a prophetic word right now, and I hope it's going to help you. But this is something you should be able to do any time you reach this situation. So the Lord wants to say to you now, my child, 
you are on the right road. You are already engaged in the journey that I set you on. Therefore, you must not stop, but you must keep moving forward. But you have become discouraged because you have not seen the kind of results that you expected. You have begun to doubt that I did lead you to do this because people are not responding the way you hoped they would. And somehow so many things in your life have gone wrong since you began to do this. And the enemy has confused you and convinced you that you are in the wrong place, that you have made a mistake and that you are going in the wrong direction. You must reject his lies. You must set your face like a flint and face forward and continue this journey, no matter how you feel, no matter the results. Because at the end of the day, says the Lord, you are doing this for me and to bless me. You're doing it out of love for me. Therefore, though people may not receive what you share, though people may not seem to be interested in what you're doing, you are not doing it for the acclaim of man. You're not doing it to be accepted and recognized by people, but you are doing it for me because you love me and you want to bless me. And therefore, as you continue to do this, you must see this as you sowing seeds. And you know that when you sow a seed, it does not immediately show its fruit, but it takes time. Sometimes that, <clears throat> that seed needs to be left in the ground to germinate and to grow in silence and in secret. And much later, it pops through the ground and shows the life that is in it. So do not stop sowing the seed, says the Lord. Continue doing what you've been doing because that's what I told you to do and you can trust me to do my part. All I require of you is that you sow the seed and I will take care of the seed and I will bring it to life and I will make it grow. All you need to do is trust me, says the Lord. Continue to be faithful and obedient to me and soon you will see your road opening up once again, and you realize that you have not actually lost direction. All that's happened is you lost vision of your direction. But your vision will return. And when it returns, suddenly you will see so many of those seeds that you've planted beginning to sprout. And you'll be encouraged and motivated once again to get up and go. So don't be discouraged. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. But step forward boldly now, says the Lord. Continue to work against your feelings and do the thing that I've told you to do. And you can be assured that blessings shall follow in every case. Like rain falling on thirsty ground, so your spirit will fall on me. Let my heart be stirred deep within as I rise up in liberty for without you I can do nothing but with you I can do all things by the power of your anointing the ability that it brings I can be more than a conqueror I can soar like a bird with wings 